Right now, institutions across the country are facing a difficult challenge responding to the outbreak of COVID-19. Moving your class online within a matter of days with limited resources is a challenging undertaking. I can only imagine how overwhelming this must be for both you and your students, adding more planning and a whirlwind of change to your plate. As a former educator myself, I couldn't even imagine what my high school English classes would have looked like if I would have just picked them up and had to teach strictly online. And from a student's perspective, I couldn't even begin to think about what my in-class lectures would look like in a totally remote setting. And now, at Packback, an educational technology startup, we see the impact of online learning that it can have on education as a whole. We wanted to take a minute to introduce ourselves. My name is Blair. And my name's Eli. And we at Packback believe in awakening and fueling the lifelong curiosity in every student. You're probably wondering what Packback even is and how it can help. Packback is an online community of inquiry where students attain higher levels of cognition through the process of asking academic questions. Similar to a typical discussion board, the experience on Packback is different in a few ways that'll be very important to understand before you adopt Packback for your course. First, Packback is a student-driven discussion environment that helps students learn through the process of asking questions. Secondly, on Packback, our AI, or as we call it, our digital TA, works like your own TA to help save you time. The biggest way the digital TA supports is through auto-moderation, which we'll talk about more in a minute. Although it's not a content expert, your digital TA does look for things that do not lead to good academic behavior. This alleviates the burden on you as the students are coached on the foundations of good academic dialogue. On Packback, instructors do not need to read every single post and perform basic moderation duties. Instead, instructors can use 15 to 20 minutes engaging with the students via feedback and featuring that helps them scale the impact of their time. While Packback typically costs $25 per student per course, we want to help do our part with instructors and students in this unexpected transition to online. As a result, Packback is providing free access to any class making the midterm transition to an online or remote format. We understand that Packback will not be the solution to this problem, but rather a tool that can assist you through this unforeseen search. We hope that by providing you a tool for better online engagement and discussion, we make your lives easier and you can allow yourself to continue to do what you do best. At the end of this video, you'll have an opportunity to let us know if you would like to utilize Packback by following the prompt on the screen. Then a member of our team will reach out to you to get set up ASAP. We have trained and supported thousands of professors and over 300,000 students in bringing their course discussion into Packback and making use of online engagement tools. And our team is prepared to help you with this transition to a remote or online instructional environment. When professors typically adopt Packback, it's because they're having issues kind of like this one. Instead of this, discussion on Packback looks a little more like this. This student-driven discussion, paired with our AI technology, goes beyond your traditional discussion board. Students are coached through academic discourse so that they can have productive and genuine conversations about what they're curious about when it comes to the subject matter at hand. This student-led discussion is from Kat West's developmental psychology class at Winthrop University. She typically has her students ask one question about topics related to her course and respond to two peers per week. In turn, she allocates a portion of her grade to Packback, which typically replaces either an in-class activity or discussion that she would otherwise not be able to have. Now, keep in mind that this is a 16-week class where Packback was introduced on day one. We understand that this is not going to be the same in your circumstance, but some of the same successes can be replicated on a smaller scale with the time that you have left in the term. So how do you get your students engaged in quality discussions like this when you're no longer face-to-face? -face? Well, as mentioned, you can start by having your students ask questions. It's as simple as that. Packback is meant to let students take control of their own learning through driving curiosity. 
When students log on to Packback for the first time, they'll go through an interactive tutorial introducing them to the platform so you don't have to. You'll see that this is a trend on Packback. We do a lot of the heavy lifting for you so your job is easier. For example, when students log in and they're ready to ask a question for the week, they'll simply click on this big red button and that is where our coaching actually begins. Students immediately will see prompts about what makes a good question, but our dynamic inline coaching changes while students type. So, for example, when Eli types, what makes a curious question? If you notice, the prompt below here actually changes with the typing. This gives students instant feedback before their post is even complete. Students are encouraged in the description box to do things like add more depth, add multimedia, and even outside sources, all while this dynamically changes. Since you won't be on campus and won't be able to give direct feedback to your students, you can lean on our artificial intelligence or AI. Once students submit their post, our AI leaves students feedback in the form of the curiosity score. This number, although we can talk more in detail about this later, simply gives the students a gauge on their academic behavior and can be used as a piece of quantitative data to help improve their question asking. Speaking of improving, after a student submits their post, our AI is going to be consistently scanning in the background for things that do not lead to good academic behavior. It'll scan for things like closed questions, questions with insufficient length, profanity, abuse, plagiarism. Packback never pretends to be content experts. You're the expert here, so you can always manually moderate posts for content on your own too. If a post gets flagged by the AI, our team of moderators in our Chicago office will double check the post. If the post meets community guidelines, then it goes back up on the platform, no harm, no foul. On the flip side, if the student's question was closed-ended, for example, the student would receive an automatic coaching email telling them what they did, tips and tricks of how to fix it, and then they're given the opportunity to edit and republish their post so they can get their pack back credit for the week. Our AI takes care of the basic building blocks of a good discussion, so you can spend your efforts interacting with students in a way that mirrors as if you were all on campus together. Interacting with students virtually on Packback is incredibly easy. It only takes about 20 minutes per week to maximize and scale your feedback on the platform. He's not kidding, it's literally 20 minutes. <laughs> there are a couple key tools to do this. We'll start with featuring. In order to find great posts to feature, we highly recommend using the sorting tool. You can sort by things like most active posts or even hot posts that are high in quality, but from the most recent week of posting. As previously mentioned, Packback is an anti-intuitive in the way that you should not read every single post. However, this sorting tool here will help you keep a finger on the pulse of your virtual classroom and find great posts to highlight and feature. We recommend about uh, three to five posts to be featured per week. Featured posts are bookmarked into the Packback Hall of Fame, modeling for students what a good question should look like at any time. It also reinforces material because weekly features are published in an email called the Curious Reader Digest to students on Fridays. Students don't have to seek out great questions and important material. It comes right to their inbox. Featuring is really easy to do. If you scroll through your feed after sorting, you can actually just click on the options button and you will see that one of your options is to feature. Now, you also have a couple of other options and one of those is giving feedback. So, if I scroll to the top here and let's say I want to give feedback to this question, I drop down the options button, click on give feedback, and you will see here that you can live, leave public praise or private coaching. So if you leave public praise, you'll actually be able to feature straight from here as well as pin the post, which just simply bumps it to the top of the feed to increase visibility and let students know why this post is so great. Students will know that you've left them valuable feedback and really any post valuable feedback by this little high five on their post. It now scales and again, students know that this post has valuable professor feedback. On the flip side, you can also privately coach. You can leave a private in-app notification to students, letting them know how they can improve on their post the next time. 
If the content is incorrect, you can even bypass the AI by moderating at the same time. Students will be sent both your comment and a coaching email to edit and republish their posts. Giving feedback on Packback allows you to interact with your students in a personalized way that you might actually get to do so in class. In order to help give you additional data to help with online instruction, Packback will also send you a weekly Professor Insights email, breaking down key data to help drive your feedback and instruction. For example, we provide you with the most improved students for the week. This might be where you want to focus your positive public praise. Packback will also provide you with a list of suggested features and even feature for you if you don't get around to it. Plus, be reassured we're here to help you navigate through this transition at any time through the rest of the term. You'll have your own personal experience manager to help answer any questions that may pop up. Feel free to reach out to them at any time. So, what does your Packback game plan look like? To recap, best practices are to simply have your students ask one question and respond to two of their peers per week. And then all you need to do to help manage discussion is to hop onto the feed for about 15 to 20 minutes, use our sorting tool, feature three to five posts, and even add some of your own valuable feedback. Packback keeps track of all the grading for the rest of the term to help alleviate even more administrative duty during this wild time. To reiterate what Blair and I said before, Packback will not be a complete solution to this major unforeseen circumstance, but a tool that will allow you to engage in meaningful interactions with your students, allow you to manage discussion in a new setting, and hopefully aid you in your own time by taking a large administrative burden off of your plate. Best of luck with the rest of your term, and we'll be in touch soon.